Wake up, people! This is Ted here with another Word Nerd Wednesday. It's great to see all your smiling faces. You're watching the premier Word Origins and Derivations channel. It isn't just words you don't know. It's words you know, but where does the word come from? And if you like this content, go to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe, and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload. Well, this week's word came from my musical artist workshop class. The instructor is Gary Imhoff, and he was helping a student and said, do you know where the word arrogance comes from? So this week's word is arrogance. Arrogance is defined as a manifest feeling of superiority of one's worth or importance combined with contempt of others. I'm the number one rock star on the planet. The resume is great, this lamp fantastic, but you lack arrogance. And to be in my kitchen, you have to defend yourself. But where does it come from? It comes from the Latin root, arrogare, which means to claim for oneself, assume, from ad, plus rogare, to ask, to propose a law or a candidate, to ask for a favor, entreat, request. Apparently, from the figurative use of the PIE verb, PIE stands for Proto-Indo-European. Proto means first, so those first languages from the Indian European continents. It's called the Proto-Indo-European. Those are the roots. So there's Greek roots, Latin roots, and PIE roots. So this verb literally means to stretch out the hand. From the root reg, move in a straight line. So you see, the root isn't so bad. It means to reach out your hand, to get support for a candidate or a vote or a person, and to claim for oneself. I think that's pretty cool. Well, there you go. That's the word for this week. And just remember, guys, it's never too late to redo, rebuild, restart, reboot, rekindle, rebirth your life. You can always turn it around and go in any direction you like. Let's create a renaissance on Earth. Oh, and one more thing. I'm saying very plainly that the Yankees are better equipped than we. They've got factories, shipyards, coal mines and a fleet to bottle up our harbors and starve us to death. All we've got is cotton and slaves and arrogance.